Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 5.6 of our pre-algebra math part 1. 5.6 using multiplicative inverses to solve equations. We have a 24 point skill sheet here for classwork and then 7 points worth of notes to take. Teachers, today's bell work for your students. Simpl simplify this expression. Use LCD to, to determine which fraction is greater to your students. Give your students five minutes. Welcome back for your solutions to today's bell work. So simplifying this expression here, what do we do? We just uh, we subtract straight across C minus 10 C uh, over 11. It's a negative 11 C over 11. These cancel and we get negative C. Use LCD for these um, 9 17ths and 25 51st. So, what do we do here? 51 is 3 times 17. We have a common factor here of 17, so we can the LCD here is 51. <clears throat> so, this would be 27 over 51, and this would be 25 over 51. So which fraction is greater, it would be 9 over 17 is greater than 25 over 51. <clears throat> Using multiplicative inverses, uh, you use reciprocals to divide fractions. You'll use multiplicative inverses to solve equations. So stalactites are icicle-shaped stone formations found on cave ceilings. They form from minerals deposited by dripping water. Suppose the stalactite is 10 inches long and is growing at a rate of about one eighth of an inch per decade. How long will it take for the stalactite to reach the length of one foot? In example three, and this is in part two of this uh, lesson, but this just lets you know what's in the future. <clears throat> to solve an equation that has a fractional coefficient, you can multiply each side of the equation by fractions multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse of a non-zero number is the number's reciprocal. So students in your own words define multiplicative inverse. And then let's get into uh, some uh, definitions of multiplicative inverse property. The product of a number in this multiplicative inverse is one. So 3 fifths times 5 over 3 equals 1. Um, these are multiplicative inverses here, aren't they? 3 fifths and 5 thirds. This is 3 fifths flipped. That's the inverse. And then algebra A over B times B over A equals 1. So these are multiplicative inverse. We use that a lot in solving equations. So example, one step equation, 4 sevenths x equals negative 12. There's the original. So what do we do? We multiply by using our multiplicative inverse, which is 7 over 4. What we do on this side, we have to do on this side the of the equal sign. So multiplicative, uh, multiply each side by a multiplicative inverse of 4 over 7. That's the multiplication of equality in solving equations. So once we do that, we have x equals 7 fourths times negative one, uh, 12. And that is negative 21. So x equals negative 21. Okay, so let's try it here with our guided practice. Students, this is yours. Pay attention so you can do yours. Okay, our solution up here. Multiplicative inverse of uh, negative 7 over 12 will be negative 12 over 7. We have to do that over here too. These cancel. So we have x equals negative 12 over 7 times 28 which works out to be negative 48. What's 12 times 28? I don't know. 280 and 56 would be 300 and something. So, And then as students do the same thing with yours here. And that is part one of lesson 5.6. Part two and part three are available here, as well as everything else for this whole course. Email me for that. Thank you.